Hi there, fellow Starfarers. Today I would like to showcase the Advanced Gunnery Control mod. I'll do this using a Vanguard. As you can see, I set it up with two railguns, which are kinetic weapons, a light assault gun, which is a high explosive weapon, and two Vulcan cannons, which act as point defense. Let's jump into the uh, simulation and have a look. Uh, let's choose everyone's favorite target, the Dominator Cruiser, and let's pause for a second. First things first, if you press the question mark key, you'll get a list of all the key bindings and what they do. Um, let's start with the J key. When you press the J key, it shows you the current configuration for all your weapon groups. As you can see, currently there is no configuration loaded. Then let's have a look again. As you can see, numpad 1 to 7 cycle the fire mode for weapon groups 1 to 7. For this, it's important that you have the num lock on your keyboard on. And if you do and press the 1 key, you can see it cycles th through all available modes for weapon group 1. Um, as weapon group 1 is kinetic damage, for this demonstration, I'll set it to target shields, which means it'll only fire if it thinks the projectile is going to hit the shield of the enemy. Um, for the light assault gun, as it's a high explosive weapon, we'll do the opposite and set it to avoid shields, which means it'll only shoot if it thinks that it can bypass the enemy's shields. Uh, let's set the Vulcan cannons. Oops, I pressed four instead of three. Let's set the Vulcan cannons to PD mode. PD mode means the weapon will only target missiles and fighters and won't target enemy ships. Um, yeah, so let's look at it in action. Here's the enemy dominator incoming. Let's try to get behind it as you do against dominators. Let's have a look. Right now we can see we are fl flanking the enemy shields that's why currently only the assault gun is firing. If we move a little bit to the side, to around here, we can see we are no longer flanking the enemy shields, so the railguns start shooting. Now um, the enemy lowered his shields, which means we are flanking the shields again, so the light assault gun starts firing again. Um, usually there's a brief moment, yeah, you can see right here, where we are like on the edge of flanking or not flanking, in that case both weapons will fire. Um, you can also see if we get really close to the enemy, even though we're right next to the enemy, our Vulcan cannon isn't firing because it's set to PD mode. And now let's try a risky maneuver. Let's try to get in front of the enemy. Hopefully it'll start shooting missiles at us. It does, and as you can see, the Vulcan cannons are targeting the missiles. Um, yeah, obviously there's uh, quite a few more modes available, just to give you a brief idea. Uh, like for the Vulcan cannons, we have default mode, we have PD mode, uh, we can act as a normal weapon below 50% flux, as a PD weapon above 50% flux, and so on and so forth. I think most of these modes should be relatively self-explanatory. Um, another thing we can do is, if we look at the question mark thingy again, minus cycles the suffix. So um, if I press the minus key, you can see now it displays for weapon group uh, one, default mode with the suffix hold fire flux above 90%, which simply means the weapon will stop firing once our ship flux exceeds 90%. And there's a couple more, um, yeah, but I won't go into detail for all those suffixes now. Um, yeah, maybe this looks a little bit overwhelming at first, and if you are not the kind of person that likes to set up stuff in combat by having to press hotkeys, you can always, while you're on the campaign map, press the J key to open up a GUI. So first we need to choose which ship we want to configure the modes for, and then here you can see we have a display of all the different modes. It's exactly the same thing as pressing the buttons in combat, so we can again, like for example, again, set the railguns to target shields, we want them to hold fire above 90% flux, the assault gun is already set to avoid shields, we just did that in 
combat and we can again set our Vulcan cannon to for example PD mode once our flux exceeds 50% and yeah again you can see there is a lot more functions available in the GUI uh, there is also ship modes which influence the way the AI controls the ship if it, the ship is AI controlled it won't affect the player controlled ship and yeah but usually the modes here should either be pretty self-explanatory for example reset current ship simply resets everything to default um, or if they are not self-explanatory they usually have a tooltip that explains them um, the modes here you can see also all have a tooltip um, yeah there is also loadout so if you want to have different setups for your modes for different types of combats let's say we have one put these all to opportunist once we cycle the loadout uh, everything's back to default we can set something up here we can add something up here and as you can see it saves them by loadout and then in combat you can cycle loadouts depending on the enemy fleet composition for example um yeah also the set there's a pretty extensive settings.editme file in the mod folder where you configure can configure all kinds of stuff for example you can configure the thresholds for these uh, hold fire when flux above x modes you can uh, conf actually there's more modes available than are shown here so you can add additional modes you can remove modes that you don't like to keep this list shorter etc um yeah that's pretty much everything i wanted to show you i hope you enjoy the mod i hope you have fun playing star sector i'm always happy when you leave feedback in the forum posts and enjoy